Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing Tennessee. Today, I'm going to be going over terminal tackle storage. Uh, in my opinion, it's one of the hardest things that you can store. Uh, finding something for storing it is really difficult, so let's just go ahead and get started on this. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do a couple tips for y'all. Main thing is your boxes. Uh, what I use for my sinkers and my beads, I use a .0 3500 waterproof box. It works really well. Uh, the sinkers don't go over in the other compartment. The only thing is, where the hooks are so much smaller, I had a problem with that in the 3700 waterproof boxes, so I switched back to this box. I'm thinking about getting a bait coffin, Bass Mafia bait coffin, and trying it out. I've heard a lot of good things about those, but I'm thinking about trying that out. But this also keeps it labeled. Uh, one lot hooks, two lot hooks, three, four, five, six, and then it starts up here. Right here is for your split shots, and it goes 16th, 8th, 3 16th, a quarter, 3 8 uh, Then you have ounce slip sinkers, 3 8 ounce, uh, full ounce, I think, which I have different stuff in each compartment. I don't have the exact stuff. Swivels, snaps, glass beads, uh, egg sinkers, split shot, easy peg weights, misc stuff right here, uh, specialty hooks, and more specialty hooks. But uh, mainly what I keep, and also up here it's got the package to it. Mainly what I keep, I keep uh, all my sinkers in here. And I'll store my shaky heads in here in the weight box on what the weight is. So I have my eighth, three, uh, three sixteenths, and then my quarter ounce. And then I just keep toothpicks for pegging, uh, tube hooks heavy flipping hooks, catfish hooks, uh, some hooks I bought a long time ago, uh, spinnerbait blades, different Colorado blades, uh, I keep a small spoon in here, a uh, little swim bait jig head, things of that nature, just whatever, and in this I keep my split shots and beads and my sinkers and also my egg sinkers like my Carolina rig egg sinkers and things like that. But uh, if you're looking to try something new, I would suggest trying this method right here. It really works well. Uh, you can store a whole lot better stuff, and you'll know where it's at. It won't be scrambled around everywhere, and you can find it quicker. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. We'll see y'all later.